Hey beautiful souls, welcome to another pick a card reading. My name is Danielle and thank you so much for being here. So for today's pick a card, we are doing another viewer requested reading and this one is a pregnancy reading. So to be honest, I was trying to figure out a layout. I do have a layout with us today. But so I went on YouTube trying to see, you know, what other pregnancy readings other readers are doing. And none was really speaking to me, resonating. Uh, maybe it's because I personally don't want any more children. But um, uh, yeah, I just really couldn't find a layout or anything that really sang to me. So I actually had to Google um, tarot spreads for uh, pregnancy. So I do have, uh, it's basically like the details, like what this child, what your child, future child is going to be like. And course I will get um at the beginning we're gonna take a look at you know your day or evening leading up to conception uh however keep in mind this is intended to be somewhat pg I know it's not pg given the context but it, I'm not making this an 18 plus uh, <laughs> and at the end I will be pulling a month and day I will also roll the zodiac dice to get some um signs that may be in your child's chart or your charts or your uh significant other or um other parents chart as well so now you can watch this based on like if this is you wanting your um girlfriend wife partner to conceive or maybe you're hoping that you're the one conceiving, carrying the child. Uh, anyways, yeah. So, with the help of my children, I have little trinkets, little toys for you to choose from instead of crystals. And I have the Empress card of each different decks here. Now, two of them have, well, as you can see, pregnant bellies. Uh, this Empress card, you know, maybe you're the lucky one that's, and it has a beautiful figure that's, you know, flat where <laughs> it's, uh, some women, you can never tell when they're pregnant and it's, uh, it's like, what? You're nine months pregnant? You don't even, you don't, you don't even look bloated. <laughs> I know I've known some people, some ladies that were blessed that way. Me, me I could hide, hard, <laughs> I was like bigger than this girl. <laughs> it was really pregnant. It looked like I had twins with the last one. Um, but yeah, anyways, I'm going to show you up close our Empress cards as well as our little toys here. So for group one, you have, as my middle child calls them, Mr. Red. Mr. Red 2.0 because the other one was lost in Lake Huron um, last summer. <laughs> so... I couldn't find a little yellow ducky, you know, the traditional rubber ducky, but um, because he's full of water, my youngest was playing with him in the water the other, the other day. So yeah, you have Mr. Red. And with this beautiful Empress card, if you are curious what this deck is, it's my deck, Transcendent Love Tarot. That's what it looks like on the back. The link is uh, in my description box. Group two, you have Ariel, she's from like a little kinder surprise, a human Ariel, the little mermaid. This used to be one of my favorite Disney movies when I was like five. I remember I wanted to be a mermaid. And you have this Empress card. This is the Tarot de la Nuit and group three. You have the Light Sears Tarot. This is the back. That's your Empress card. She reminds me of an actress. I don't know who, though. I can't think. Yeah, she reminds me of an actress. It's going to bother me now. And you have this little purple teddy bear. All right, so... Uh, yeah, you can choose based on the deck, the image, 
or the little trinket. All right. So your dis your your description, <laughs> your timestamps are in the description box below, and I will see you guys at your reading. Hey, group one, you chose the um. Oh my God, it's my own deck, and I don't remember. <laughs> Transcendent Love Tarot with Mr. Red. Welcome to your reading. I'm just going to place him here. All right. Okay. So I forgot to mention, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, um, oh my goodness. Okay. In the description box below at the very top there is, uh, I have the links to my SP love reading as well as the regular love reading. And I do offer 18 plus readings for those of you that are over 18. Okay, so let's dive in. First of all, I'm going to check out conception, and then I'm going to go into the, the traits of your, your beautiful baby. It didn't offer up gender here, but I think I'm going to take a look at gender for the baby, too. Okay. So for group one and their person, what is going on the day of conception or the evening of conception? All right, we get, we have the king of pentacles fly out there. Knight of Wands, ooh, passion. Nine of Cups. And the Sun, Leo energy coming through. I also forgot to mention in the beginning, this could be for same-sex couples or maybe wanting to adopt. That, that's also a potential as well. Um, okay. This, okay, <laughs> this feels like a heat of the moment, um, kind of conception. However, it's not, it's not unplanned, if that makes sense. It's like the two of you, you know, have maybe spoken about having starting a family, having children together. And I do see that this is something like a dream come true, a wish fulfillment for the two of you. I also feel like this is a wish fulfillment for the two of you being together. Um, I do see a lot of safety and security in this connection. I feel like both of you are very well established. I also feel like... Um, Given the suit here, I feel like you may be coming from like an event where the two of you are dressed up really nice, maybe even like a wedding or dinner, like some sort of work party, like maybe you go to like somebody's, your spouse's or boyfriend or girlfriend or partner's uh, work party, you're dressed up and then it leads to, you know, going back to Unless you live together, maybe, I don't know, for some reason I'm picking up on that the two of you might not live together yet. But this is definitely like a happy, a happy surprise for sure. So I feel like the two of you have talked about having children. And it's a, it's a very loving, passionate um, conception if. You catch my drift and that's yeah i'm just gonna leave it there <laughs> so all right first of all i want to go into i didn't even think of picking a car for gender uh you know what i think i'm gonna do gender at the end that's one thing i didn't include all right so i have eight little attributes that i'm gonna lay out thankfully i have the list here so i don't forget Okay, so I'm going to have the odd numbers as you, the viewer, and I'm going to have the evens as your SP or significant other specific person, the one that you're having this child with. Okay, so I'm not going to flip them over just yet. 
because I want it to be a surprise, which is something I never knew, but yeah. Okay, here we have eyes. So whose eyes? Whose nose? Whose lips? Whose hair color? And then we have whose temper, temperament. Let's move this up. Whose patience. Whose laugh. And whose ambition. Okay. All right, I'm, I'm actually really excited to see this. Okay, starting with eyes. So they're gonna have your person's eyes. Whose nose? Oh, your person's nose. Yeah, this is definitely not like a traditional, like I'm not reading the cards, but just, uh, okay, here we have the fool. Your person's uh, lips. Hair color, man, your person's hair color. This is, this child is looking like your person. <laughs> All right, temper, who's temper? Oh, they have your temper. <laughs> What's your temper like? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> All right, whose patience? Your patience. So your temper, your patience. Whose laugh? Uh, they have your laugh. So it seems like up here, it's like all your person down here is going to be you. And whose ambition? The world. Number 20, your ambition. Okay, so your person's eyes, your person's nose, your person's lips, your person's hair color. And then we have your temper. They have, this baby has your patience. They have your laugh. And they have your ambition. All right. So, yeah, like I said, it's not your traditional uh, normal reading that I do. So, it's definitely interesting <laughs> that's for sure okay well let's see if we can get a gender what's the gender of this child boy or girl i feel like i should have brought out my pendulum and i was thinking about it earlier too i really should have yeah it's okay If I don't get an actual like king or queen here, I'm going to be using, considering the majority of my viewers are females, I'm just going to be using the odd numbers as um, a baby girl and the even numbers as a baby boy, if that's the case. Okay, boy or girl. We have baby, what did I say? Evens, baby boy. A little baby boy. Aww. So your first child, or this may be your second, depending. But yeah, you're going to have a little baby boy with your person here. And it's going to be a happy... Definitely happy about this conception for sure. I feel like it's it's planned but unplanned. Again, if you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, so let's see if we can get some. I'm going to grab a different little deck here. See if we can get a month and a day. When is the due date? Let's get a due date. When is this due date? When is this baby boy due? When 
we have number 10. So we have October. Is that 10? That's a King of Swords. So October 14th. We have a little Libra baby coming. Little Libra boy. All right, so let's grab some zodiac signs. Could be yours, it could be your person's, it could be your baby, or maybe in significant placements in your child's charts. Okay, so we have fifth house Leo coming through. Uh, what is this? We have Taurus. Be a Taurus in the fifth house. We have Capricorn with tenth house. Um, your child might have a Taurus midheaven or a Sagittarius midheaven. We have Sagittarius coming through as well. Um, which number 10 is also, you know, the month. It could be. It could be instead you have your, this boy is, you know, your due date is October 14th, but then you have them um, October fifth instead that's also a possibility all right so yeah that concludes your pregnancy <laughs> your pregnancy reading uh, uh i'm not used to them being so short it's like i feel like i need more but hopefully you guys enjoy this uh hopefully you're excited uh you can always look at the other groups if you are curious all right so be sure to subscribe if you enjoy love and relationship readings. Feel free to throw me some more suggestions. I have like quite a list going on now, so it's pretty exciting. And I will see you guys in the next one, okay? Take care. Bye-bye. Hey, group two, you chose this beautiful Empress card with uh, Princess Ariel. Just going to stand her up here since, you know, she's got her little human legs. She might be a little wobbly. Yeah, you know, the Disney cartoon. She can't stand wobbles on her legs and those rags. <laughs> All right. So if you would like to book a personal reading with me, I have uh, two links to two of my readings in the description box. That's the SP Love Reading, which focuses a little more on your specific person. We also get the channeled messages in there. Or there's the regular love reading, which is more for if you know your person, you, you know, it's, yeah, there's no channeled messages in that one. However, if you would like to include the channel messages, you can always ask in the notes section for me to include some, and I absolutely will. I never think to mention that. Again, I'm horrible at selling myself here, so. <laughs> okay, so, and... If you are a same-sex couple looking to adopt or, you know, in vitro or whatever, um, you can use this as your reading as well. I know I'm using the Empress cards for expectant mothers, but maybe you're two, two men looking to adopt, whatever your situation. All right, so let's take a look at conception first. What is leading up? to conception the day or the evening of oh wow I just dropped like half my deck hold on <laughs> all right I'm back okay so conception what is conception like now obviously it's not going to be like too detailed because we're not 18 plus here you know this Reading really isn't made for kids, but you know what I mean. All right. We have, starting with the Knight of Swords, King of Swords. Air, a lot of air energy coming through. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, we have the Three of Cups. And the Six of Pentacles. Hmm. 
I feel like the two of you are having like some sort of reconciliation here um, leading up to this. Like with the with the two sword energies here, I feel like there's a lot of talking, a lot of communication, you know, making up, um, having a good time even. Like it feels like very heart to heart, deep intellectual conversation, really talking about your dreams, your goals, your desires. Um, I feel like the two of you could talk for hours. And I also feel like this is very, this energy is very reciprocated. And you're both equally into one another for sure. Now again, like some people aren't, this could be like a one night stand, I'm assuming. I'm assuming not, but you never know. Maybe you want to raise your baby on your own. Um, but yeah, no, I feel like there's, this is actually like a, a making up. Like this is how it unfolds. The two of you are having a conversation and you're making up, you're reconciling. But also having like a good time, enjoying the moment, enjoying each other's company. And then it leads to the conception. All right. So now we're going to take a look at baby's um, attributes, like eyes, nose, lips, hair color, all that fun stuff. So I'm, I'm going to have all the cards laid, laid out, and then I'm going to flip them, so it's going to be a surprise. Definitely not my typical reading, for sure. <laughs> a hell of a lot shorter. All right, okay, so baby's eyes. Baby's nose, lips, hair color, and then we have whose temper. I'm really gonna move these up. Whose patience? Whose laugh? and ambition okay oh there goes ariel falling over okay so we have temperance it's number 15. so this baby is going to have your eyes or sorry that's 14. derp they're gonna have your person's eyes <laughs> We have number 20. Oh, okay. So it's going to be like group one. Your person's nose. Your person's lips. And your person's hair color. Okay, so for temper, we have... Um, Your person's temper. Your person's uh, patience as well. Man, this baby is all your person. <laughs> your person's laugh. And, oh, we have your your ambition. This, this baby has your ambition. So definitely your drive, your ambition, they have yours. All right, so, okay. We're gonna see boy or girl. Is this baby a boy or a girl? Nine of wands. Odds. So this is a baby girl. All right, so you're having a baby girl. It's going to month and day. And then I will roll the zodiac dice and we'll leave it there. Month and day. When is this baby girl due date?
And you may already be pregnant. Maybe you're just watching this for the heck of it. So, yeah, let me know if your due date comes out, if you actually already are pregnant. Or if that date is significant to you in any way. Month or day for this baby girl. We have the 10, October. Getting a lot of October babies, apparently. <laughs> October, what is that? October 7th. Oh, geez, it says on derp. The number's right there. <laughs> so, month and day, October 7th. Okay. We have 12th house. This is Pisces. Now this could be, you can use this as confirmation for your sign, your person's sign, or maybe this, these will be significant placements. In your child's chart, we have Taurus. We have 12 again. And then we have Pisces. So a lot of Piscean energy coming through for this baby. So it might have like a, somebody may have a Pisces stellium. Um, or Pisces moon or rising or a Taurus moon or rising might have a moon placement in the 12th house or 12th house stellium even. All right. So yeah, that concludes your reading. Like I said, very, very short. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it and let me again, let me know if, um, any of the dates are significant for you guys. All right. So Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you enjoy love and relationship reading and feel free to throw more suggestions at me so I can add it to my list. All right. I'm wishing you guys all the best. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey, my group threes. You chose this purple teddy bear here uh, with this Empress card. I feel like it might be showing. I just noticed it might be showing um, a little more. Maybe not. Maybe it's just my imagination. I feel like she might kind of remind me of Rachel Bilson. Does anybody know who Rachel Bilson is? She's from the OC, that series from like 2003 or 2004 when it started. I believe 2003. But yeah, she reminds me of an, she also reminds me of another actress too, but yeah. Okay. So as I shuffle up the cards horribly, <laughs> mention that I do love and relationship readings uh, in the link there's um, or in the description box there's a link to my SP love reading which is, focuses more on your specific person and also has channeled messages and I also there's also the link for the regular love reading but I do offer 18 plus for those of you that are 18 plus um, I also so the the only reading that doesn't come with channeled messages is uh, the love reading however if you would like there is a note section for each each reading where you can include additional questions or whatever so you can always request uh, messages to be included in your love reading all right okay so let's take a look at conception now obviously not going too much into detail So for group three and their person, what is going on leading up to conception? Is there a day or evening like? What is the experience like? Okay, we have the Fool, Seven of Pentacles. Four of Cups. King of Swords. Okay. Hmm. 
Well, the seven of pentacles definitely reminds me of planting a, planting a seed here, waiting for something to grow. Interesting. I'm going to pull one more card. I'm going to try and keep this in view. One more card. Eight of Wands. Okay. The two of you may be on like a the younger side. Um This may even be your first your first time with your person. Uh the first time getting together, if you know what I mean. <sighs> All right. I feel somebody here is, uh, or maybe both, are a heck of a lot more fertile than they think they are. <laughs> um, so, you know, I, I assume if you're watching this type of reading that you're either a bored and just killing time and curious. Maybe you want to know for your own channel, you know, how getting ideas for pregnancy readings for yourself. Um, so maybe you're here for that reason or... Or you're just bored, but I'm assuming that um, many viewers that are watching a pregnancy reading probably want to conceive. Uh, but yeah, if if you're not, if you're you know you're not sure if you're ready, you might want to you know be safe because <laughs> I feel like yeah, it's definitely. Um, you or your person or both are a lot more fertile than you think you are. Maybe you've even been told that you're really not, or for some reason you just have doubts, but yeah, I feel like that's, um, that's not the case. I also feel like this connection moves along very quickly. Uh, it's definitely, I've, I'm picking up on unexpected and fast, um, it, it's quick. <laughs> Definitely a heat of the moment quick, unexpected. Um, so again, just be safe if you're not ready. That's all I have to say. Uh, yeah. I feel like... For the most part, the two of you are actually pretty logical and intelligent, but I'm just really picking up on like heat of the moment, passion with the eight of wands, very fast paced. It could be, um, it could be a quickie. <laughs> All right. So yeah. Okay. I'm gonna leave it there. So, you know, I don't get demonetized here. All right. Okay. So... <laughs> Let's go into, I'm going to like pull all the little attributes or details about your, the beautiful child that's being conceived and then I will flip them over because, you know, it's going to be a surprise for both of us. Okay, eyes. Whose eyes? Nose. Lips. Hair color. And then we have temper, patience, laugh. It's throwing me off with that extra card here. And ambition. All right, so whose eyes it has your person's eyes. 
Or I should say they have, not it. Sorry. It's, uh... This baby has your person's eyes. I will be getting gender after this. So don't worry. They have your person's nose. Uh, they have your lips, your person's hair color, uh, they have your temper, and for patience, they have your person's patience, they have your laugh, and they have your person's ambition. All right, so let's see. Is this going to be a boy or a girl? For pile three, is this a boy or a girl? Is this baby a boy or a girl? All right, this is an odd. This is a baby girl. Okay, so this beautiful baby girl is uh, born. Let's see when her due date is. Just going to shuffle these up a little more. And also let me know if the dates that are coming through are the signs because I will be rolling the astrology dice if their significance. Or if you are pregnant, let me know if it's your due date. <laughs> that would be really cool if that came through somebody. Or maybe you already have a child that's born on that day and this is your second or third or fourth or fifth. All right, so when, what month is this beautiful baby girl born? We have what number page? That is, hold on, let me just think. It's 11, November. All right, so are we having a Scorpio or are we having a Sagittarius baby girl? Let's find out. Group three, how was your Valentine's Day? <laughs> I just every Valentine's Day I see I see this uh this meme or whatever this quote that was like Valentine's Day was invented by Scorpios to create more Scorpios. <laughs> All right, what day is this baby girl born? We have November 9th. Oh, that was my childhood best friend's birthday. Her and her sister were both, both born on November 9th. All right, we're having a little Scorpio baby girl. Okay, so let's see. And look at that, we have Scorpio coming through. Maybe you or your person's Scorpio. We also have first house Aries. Might even have like a Scorpio rising or we have Aquarius here. Might have an Aquarius rising. And we have eighth house. More Scorpio energy. All right. So this baby might have a Scorpio stellium in the first house or the eighth house. That could also be moon or rising as well. Or this might be you or your partner's placements. All right. So, yeah, take whatever resonates. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this reading. And, yeah, it was short and sweet. Thank you for the suggestion again. And I'm wishing you guys all the best. Take care. Bye-bye.